Okay, now let's look at Laplace's equation. Uh, the, most of this is going to be review, but uh, uh, but uh, let's start off actually by writing our continuity equation. Um, so continuity is del dot v equals zero for incompressible flow, and uh, we can write that in terms of our x and y velocities as uh, uh, dvx dx plus dvy dy equals zero. Okay, so that's our continuity equation. And uh, we also have an equation for irrotational flow. So for irrotational flow, we say that del cross v has to be equal to zero. And uh, we can write that out um, in terms of a determinant here. So we'll have a component in the x hat, y hat, and z hat directions. And then we've got del cross v. So del is d, or d dx, d dy, and d dz. And uh, finally, we've got our velocity vector, which is vx, vy, vz. And uh, so we can uh, write that in terms of some component in the x direction plus some component in the y direction. And I'm actually not going to work those out. Uh, I'm just going to look at the component in the z direction, uh, which is d dx of vy uh, minus d dy of vx in the z direction. And all of this has to equal zero, which means that uh, the components in each direction also have to equal zero. Uh, so if we, um, so really what we get out of this uh, equation is that um, uh, dvy dx minus dvx dy equals zero. Okay, so, uh, so this is just review. That's our irrotational flow equation, and this is our continuity equation. Okay, so let's come back to Laplace's equation now. And uh, let's start by looking at our velocity potential. So our velocity potential uh, is, uh, is phi. And, uh, and we know that the velocity in terms of phi, V equals del phi. Um, and so that would... That means that our velocity in the x direction is d phi dx, and that's in the x direction. And then our velocity in the y direction is d phi dy in the y direction. So we can, um, we can uh, now plug these velocity components into our continuity equation up here. Uh, and so if we do that, what we'll get from uh, from continuity is that uh, d phi squared dx squared uh, plus d uh, phi squared dy squared equals zero. Okay, so all I did was plug in. This is the velocity in the x direction, d phi dx. You plug that in there for the velocity in the x direction. Take the derivative with respect to x. And you get the second derivative with respect to x. Uh, and then uh, the velocity in the y direction is d phi dy. We plug that in there for, for that v sub y. And so we get the second derivative uh, of phi with respect to y equals 0. And that is exactly Laplace's equation. Uh, so saying that del squared phi equals 0. Okay, so we see that the velocity potential must obey... Uh, Laplace's equation. Okay, let's look at the uh, at a stream function. Now, a stream function uh, that is psi, and um, for this one, let's uh, well first let's let's define uh, what that means. So, um, so if we look at the the velocity uh, in terms of the stream function. Um, that is d psi dy in the x direction minus d psi dx in the y direction. Okay, so just like before, uh, we had this 
velocity in the x direction. Well, this is now our velocity in the x direction. This is our velocity in the y direction. It's minus this term here. And I'm actually going to pl uh, plug these terms now into our irrotational flow equation. And so um, when I, when I, uh, so this first thing is the velocity in the y direction. So I'm going to plug in d phi dx in the, uh, uh, into this first one here. And uh, what we get there is uh, d squared phi dx, and then um, our dx squared. And then the second one, uh, I'm going to plug in uh, this, this uh, d phi dy, that's our velocity in the, uh, or excuse me, uh, I plugged in, yeah, I used the velocity in the y direction here in this first term. And now I'm going to use the velocity in the x direction in this second term here. And we get uh, plus d squared phi dy squared. And uh, so what we see there is that uh, this also has to satisfy Laplace's equation. In other words, that d squared or, or del squared psi equals zero. Okay, so we see that the stream function also has to uh, satisfy Laplace's equation. Okay, so we've looked at the stream function and the velocity potential. Let's look at the velocity in the x direction. And uh, for this one, uh, let's use, um, well, first, let's actually just write out Laplace's equation uh, for the velocity in the x direction. So that would be d squared vx dx squared plus d squared vx dy squared. Okay, so that's simply Laplace's equation. And uh, and I can uh, expand this. So that first term is going to be d dx of d vx dx. And then the second term is uh, d dy d vx dy. Okay, and then um, uh, now I can I can look at uh, this this term here, this dvx dx, and I'm going to substitute in uh, the solution I would get from continuity if I solved for that term here. See, I've got the dvx dx term right there. That's equal to negative dvy dy. So I'm just going to uh, plug that in there. So we've got d dx, and then I'm going to get a negative uh, dv y dy from continuity. I can swap that out. And then the second term is d dy. And uh, for this for this term here, this dvx dy, I'm actually going to use uh, this irrotational flow equation and solve for that. And I find that it's equal to dvy dx. Okay, uh, if I were to solve this equation for that term. So I'm just going to plug that in there. So dv y d x i'll just plug that in okay so um so now uh what we have here is uh actually we've got v y here as our um as the velocity of interest here in both of these derivative terms and then i've got a d d x and a d d y a d d y and a d d x and i can do those in either order so i can switch the order of those one of them has a negative, one of them has a positive. And so uh, actually this whole, all of this is going to just, it will just go to zero. Uh, and so that tells me that the Laplace's equation for Vx must, or Vx must also satisfy Laplace's equation. In other, in other words, uh, del squared of Vx equals zero. Okay, so that, has to satisfy Laplace's equation. Now I could actually do something very similar for Vy, and I won't work through that, but you can also prove that del squared uh, Vy has to be equal to zero. So, um, so the velocity in the x direction and the velocity in the y direction both have to satisfy Laplace's equation. Okay, now let's look at one more, uh, one more term here. Uh, I'm just going to draw a little area over here to finish this off. Uh, and that's our complex velocity potential. So here's our complex velocity potential. And remember, that is defined as uh, 
uh, phi plus i psi. And uh, let's look at Laplace's equation uh, for that. So, um, so uh, let's look at d uh, phi squared uh, dx squared plus d squared phi dy squared. Okay, so that's Laplace's equation. And, uh, and actually, we already know the outcome of this because um, we know that we can take two, uh, two, two parameters that satisfy Laplace's equation, which we've already shown uh, both phi and psi, little phi and, and little psi, both satisfy Laplace's equation. We can add those together, and the summation of that will also satisfy Laplace's equation. All we're doing is multiplying psi here by a constant, which uh, won't... Uh, change that so so we can just add these two together um, and uh, and and obviously uh, we would expect that capital phi will also satisfy Laplace's equation but we can also prove it here so let's work through this um, so if I just plug in uh, what what uh, that uh, complex velocity potential is by definition it's phi plus i psi uh, dx squared and then plus d squared of phi plus i psi dy squared. And uh, now I can, um, I can break up those components and I'll get d squared phi dx squared plus uh, d squared dx squared of, uh, and I'll bring the i out front here of psi. That uh, comes from the first term, and then the second term uh, will have d squared dy squared of phi plus, and again, I'll bring out the i out front, uh, d squared dy squared of psi. Okay, and we see that uh, this is simply Laplace's equation for phi, and this is simply i times uh, Laplace's equation for psi, and so because we know that both of those go to zero, uh, then uh, the summation of those must also be zero. And so uh, we've now proven that uh, del squared of capital phi must also be zero. That, uh, that that variable must also satisfy Laplace equation. So what we found here is that, uh, is that phi, so little phi, um, uh, little psi, so our stream function and our velocity potential uh, the velocity in the x direction, the velocity in the y direction, and our complex velocity potential, capital phi, must all satisfy Laplace's equation. For this, um, now this is for this potential flow. Uh, again, we've we've applied irrotational um, constraints, so it's a potential flow which includes uh, irrotational flow, and uh, and we've applied the incompressible continuity equation.